I've selected a photograph of my sister that I took many years ago for this example in this video. I like this photograph because it is black and white. I took a lot of black and white photographs at that time. But I like this because of the simple shapes and the high contrast on the features. The shadows that I can see really help these features stand out. So I have a damp brush and then dip my brush into the ground and I'm going to apply it directly over my picture and see what happens. Some of it is going to get messy, but you can see that some of the charcoal that is there, it's really not moving it around that much. Some of it it is. Why I like doing it this way, you might wonder, is because it is giving me some grace. When I add the ground on top of the charcoal, see how it's creating some neutral grays over here? That helps me create um, some more value for this underpainting. And I know that what I have underneath is just guidelines that are going to help me. Um, it's, it's like a foundation. It's that first and second layer of this work. I'm developing this painting in layers. There, that's a good red. I had not picked that before. Might have overlooked that. But I think that's a good color to bring in here. All different variations of reds. Sometimes you use just a little bit, sometimes a lot. And again, even with the abstracts, I like to move these colors around. You know, I only use that drawing of my sister as just a starting point, really. I have one that's behind me on the wall. It's the same picture that I used, and you can see how it turned out totally different. And I'm sure I'll continue to use this and try different techniques and different colors each time that I do this to see what can I do differently.